Shalom, Yashar, Allah, all praise and glory goes to Yahweh, Hashem, Yashar, Hashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and citations to the leg and feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Hashem, Yashar, in sincerity and in truth with this great gospel, man. We're going to get straight into this lesson, um, this little article that says, Pandemic jobless benefits are gone. Where does that leave many Americans, man? Because, um, many, many Americans who are depending on, um, um, the money from the government, they were depending on, um, that little extra incentives that the government was handing out due to the business closures from the um, C-19. So we already know that um, Esau was already in debt. The American um, government was already in debt, man. One of the main things that was already happening in um, hyperinflation on their currency, man. That's why you had the stock market steadily crashing and crashing because um, Esau is... American money power ain't the same as it used to be, man. You had um Russia, they were they were talking about stop you not using American currency. You had um other Arab countries speaking about not using American currency. Um China, so um and you had this whole Bitcoin and digital currency thing popping up. So the American currency was losing strength. That's the main reason they want to push it, and not just the American currency, all the currencies around the world. They want to push it to a digital form of um, doing business. That way they could control it. They could put as many zeros as they want. They could just put type up any number and that's what you got in your so-called digital card or your digital chip, whatever. But um, like you see, it says pandemic jobless benefits are gone. So ain't no more um, extra money coming just because you got extra kids in the house. Um... It's a, or, or extra money for food stamps. That's what a lot of these sex was depending on the food stamps, the the um money for them to pay your rent and shit. Cause um what it say? Let me get this verse. This is the book of Isaiah thirty one and one. It says, Well to them that go down to Egypt for help. Yeah, cause um America is the so called richest nation on the earth at this point due to what um taking other people's stuff you had um, a free land free slave labor so you were supposed to be ahead of all the other nations so i'm reading it says woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many and horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek your help yeah because um they're not they're not waiting on the lord to assist them they're not going to the lord for help if, right now if a motherfucker lose their job they're not going to pray to the Lord first and then go apply for work. What are they going to do? They're going to panic. They're going to try to fill as many applications. They're going to be in that Edomite spirit. And that's why the Lord turned a lot of um, Americans into what? Homeless people. It's a homeless people, man. It's um, more tents popping up from um, New York all the way to California. And that's the new thing. Tent cities, tents in all over parks. Why? Because these people had trusted in Egypt. <laughs> they thought um, Babylon was going to be great forever. <laughs> but um, reality is finally sinking in. I'm going to read it. says, Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because there are many. And in horsemen because they are very strong. They see Esau got that strong military might. Esau look like he's um, untouchable. <laughs> but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek. Yahweh. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity, man. The Lord's going to get these Edomites. These Edomites are not going to rule forever. It says, Now the Egyptians are men and not God and horses, flesh, and spirits. When the Lord shall stretch out his hands, both he that helpeth shall shall fall i'm gonna read that part again it says now the egyptians are men and not god but um in this in this society man they done turn them into idols it's a lot of um, man worshiping in this society right now man and it says in their horses flesh and not spirits when the lord shall stretch out his hand both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is hoping shall fall down and they shall fall together <laughs> That's what's about to happen. You about to see this whole system collapse. 
and um Esau he ain't gonna know he ain't gonna know what to do. That's where he's gonna come in turn into that um demon. That's when that satanic spirit really gotta hop on him. He's gonna try to kill as many people as he can. Cause um it's gonna be a collapse in the society. There's gonna be a lot of infighting amongst these politicians. Cause a lot of them actually believe in America, man. <laughs> this is from another article. And it reads, um, restarting America means people will die. So when do we do it? <laughs> Cause they already know, man, for America to go back to regular, it's got you gotta eradicate a lot of these people. Cause um a lot of these people are not gonna go along with the system. It's a lot of people who are um into their religion and their religion is against this system. It's a lot of people who's into their way of thinking and their ideology and their um customs. <laughs> They're not gonna bow down to Esau's system. So what uh, Esau's gonna have to um like it says restarting America means people will die. So when do we do it? Cause um America hasn't been restarted yet. You still looking at um this place circling the drain. And Esau thinking in his mind he's gonna come back. The Lord already gave him um, this place his greatness. When you go back to um the good old good what is that, the happy days, the nineteen fifties, nineteen um nineteen thirties, forties. Cause just because you had the Great Depression, but these rich people they were still doing good. I'm reading the book of 2 Timothy 3 and 1. It says that this know we also that in the last days perilous times it shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. So the scriptures let you know this is the times that you're living in right now. Where these people um ain't gonna ain't gonna have no um natural affection. They're gonna be proud, blasphemous. What else it says? Truce breakers, false accusers, and content fierce despisers of those that are good. I'm gonna read that part again. Despisers of those that are good. So um when this collapse happened, what you think who's gonna be the main target, man? Who's gonna be the main target? These wicked ass people they're gonna be trying to come after those people who despise us of those that are good, man. the people who've been pushing this word, the people who've been um, sacrificing their lives to get this truth and this wisdom out on the streets, man. They're going to come after us. And um, shit, we're not even worried about none of that because we already know we're protected by Yahweh by Hashem Shai. These people, they're not protected under, underneath the covering of the Lord. What else does scripture say? Let me get this verse. It's uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 7, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Yeah, these um these people who buy, who's losing all their benefits, who's losing their um lives that they have, they not no believers in the truth. You gotta realize um the time of coming to the Lord is almost closed. <laughs> the doors of repentance is almost closed. So these people, it's not even their thoughts to repent. What's in their mind? America bouncing back, <laughs> going back to regular, everything being fully open without people wearing masks. That's what they want to go back to. <laughs> Pretty soon, um, they going to, like it says, the, the vaccinated against the unvaccinated. You're going to have people turning on each other. <laughs> That's why I tell you this in 2 Timothy 3 and um, 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves covetous boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy without natural affection truce breakers false accusers and content and contented fierce despisers of those that are good traitors <laughs> yeah people gonna be turning on their family members turning on their loved ones turning them in just for what gifts from um the government heady high-minded Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. Yeah, they, they want things to go back to regular. They want all the sporting events to be fully open. Uh-huh, because right now they're closing things back up. <laughs> they're closing things back up. The sporting events, you got um, sports stars catching the C-19. Um, they shutting out movie sets again. So um, what's happening? The Lord, is, the Lord is playing with these people, man. The Lord is like a, a woman when she's pregnant. 
She feel the pain and the pain go away. She feel the pain and the pain go away. Pretty soon this pain, America feeling, is not gonna go away. It's not gonna go away. Traitors, he heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof for such from such turn away. Yeah, separate yourself.